it's the 90s. Welcome back to the show. It's a beautiful day here in 1995. And it is beautiful. Uh, I'm not done my intro yet. Sorry, I'm just excited. Anyway, I'm here with our resident time-traveling reporter, and he has a report about the future for us. That's right, I actually just got back from 2018, and boy, are my arms tired. That doesn't make any sense. Well, I think that's actually appropriate, because nothing makes sense in 2018. How so? Well, for example, the week that I traveled to, the show Roseanne was canceled, because if I understand correctly, she sent out something called a racist Twitter? I have a lot of questions about that sentence. Yeah, I thought you might. First off, I guess, what the hell is a Twitter? Well, the way I understood it, you could write out a little message and send it out into the World Wide Web, and then people can get mad at you about it. Oh, kind of like a chat room. Right, except this goes out to everyone on the planet, and if you accidentally send a racist Twitter, you lose your job. Wow, well, not sure why anyone would want to send a Twitter. That sounds awful. Oh, a lot of people do it, even the president, especially the president. Very interesting. I guess next question is, how has Roseanne been on the air for 30 years. No, it hasn't been on for 30 years. It actually ends in a couple of years now. Ah, uh, but you said it gets canceled in 2018. Right, because in the future, they like to do this thing called revivals. Revivals? Yeah, it seems like Hollywood runs out of ideas in the next couple of years, mm -hmm. so they just start bringing back old shows, like The X-Files is back. Oh, really? Yeah, and they also take old movies and turn them into shows, like there's a Lethal Weapon TV show. It's nuts. Wow, the future sounds unoriginal and sad. It's very unoriginal and sad. Huh. So anyway, Roseanne ends in 1997, but then they bring it back in 2018. Okay. And everybody's really interested because she's a Donald Trump supporter, which isn't really something you see on mainstream TV. I don't see what's so interesting about that. I mean, I'm a Donald Trump supporter too. I, I don't think that means what you think it means anymore. Well, people get all upset when he eats the pizza crust first in this Pizza Hut commercial, but I don't think that's a bad idea. It's a stuffed crust pizza. I mean, why wouldn't you eat the crust first? I support the guy. Right, but that's not what... There's cheese in the crust is what I'm saying. No, I agree with that, but... There's cheese in the crust. I understand but Donald Trump is the president in 2018, so... What? Yeah, he's the president of the United States. You know, I know it's tempting to make stuff up about the future, but I gotta ask you to report the facts on this show, okay? Don't just, don't just make stuff up. Uh, I am reporting the facts. Donald Trump beat Hillary Clinton in the 2016 presidential election. It's Donald Trump versus Hillary Clinton, the current first lady? That's the one. Once again, please stop making stuff up about the future. Not making it up. I told you nothing makes sense in the future. Yeah, I guess you weren't kidding. So anyway, Roseanne apologized for the racist Twitter, and she said she was up late and it takes and some Ambien, so. Oh, you can send apology Twitters too, that's neat. Yeah, but the makers of Ambien did something called a clapback Twitter, I think, and they were like, side effects of our medicine don't include racism. Wait, companies can send Twitters too? Anybody can have a Twitter. You can make a Twitter for your foot. I made a Twitter for my foot. Huh. So there you have it, folks. In the future, people play with very dangerous things called Twitters, and Donald Trump is elected president on a platform of stuffed crust pizza. Nope, that's not why. And TV networks are reviving old shows and movies and trying to pass that as original content. Thanks for your report. You're very welcome. And personally, I hope they bring back The Cosby Show. Bill Cosby could do no wrong. Actually, he gets convicted of sexual assault. Oh, holy shit.